hello 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 there welcome to another tutorial video today i'm going to be showing you how to update a previously generated world to play the new minecraft experimental stuff now if you don't know when snapshots come out some features are locked behind the experimental features toggle and you can't get them unless you create a new world but that's not particularly the case you can actually convert your world into one that accepts the new changes and you know why because these are all just data packs the experimental features are all just data packs but they're not really accessible through the minecraft menu itself so what you need to do is this first you gotta find the world that you want to update so i'll go to saves here maybe i want to update maybe i want to update the redstone world so I'm just going to make a copy of that for right now. I'll name it Redstone Experimental. And if we go into our snapshot instance, we can see that we have a new Redstone world in 1.18. So this has not been loaded in 1.20 or even the snapshot yet. Now what you're going to want to do is go back to the world that you created and then you know what you're doing update all the files when you when you click this it will update all the files to the new snapshot make it all modern ish now you can go back go back to this and what you need is the level dot that file right so since this is a save copy right i don't care about actually overwriting this you should probably you should probably do this just to test now the npt app that i use is npt studio so it might be different for you but i'm just gonna go to npt studio and we are going to open a file what you're going to do is go to that save that you had that level dot at and open that file now you will have all of these data points what you're going to do is make you have to add it to this add a list called enabled features right and now we have enabled features now what we can do is add ourselves some string tags and what we want is minecraft update 121 what you also need to do is add the minecraft vanilla in the into the enabled features now some worlds may have disabled features but that doesn't really matter because uh we're just enabling some features <laughs> if you ever want to disable any features you can just make a new list that's called disabled features and then put those in the list while also not having the same thing in the enabled features list and if you want to add any other things like the bundle and and villager trade re rebalancing you can do that as well these are what they look like and now when you do data pack a list you'll get this you'll have the update 1.21 feature in there so now you can activate it with data pack enable and it should be in here so what we're gonna find is the crafter right yes we found the crafter we can use it in this world that has definitely been built in before <laughs> If you found this useful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.